Hello, my crafty loving friend, Shelly here with Repurpose My Way. Today we're gonna do three different pumpkins, different design pumpkins made out of different things. We're going to do like a rustic, rustic primitive farmhouse type design on all of them. You could use that in any of those decor, any of that type of decor. And the first one we're gonna do is with a paper bag. We're going to take the bottom half. The other bags that I had were number six bags that were just lunch, little small lunch sacks, thin from uh, Dollar Tree. You get about, I think, 20 in a bag, in a package. I ran out of those because I had been playing around making different ones, trying to figure out my design and how I want to do it. And in the process, I thought I had more and I don't. So, cool thing is, I do have this, this number, 25 beer bag. It's a shorty bag, it says. I don't know. Um, all I know is that we can make a pumpkin out of it. That's all I know. <laughs> and it makes me happy. Okay. So what I did was I cut the top part off because I did something else with that. But I'm going to use the bottom half of this as our to make a pumpkin. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to crinkle it up. I want it to be all crinkly and primitive looking and like it's been around a while. I'm gonna do that and then open it up. Now I have some polyfill, fiber fill, polyester fiber fill um, batting or fill that you'd put in pillows. And I got this at a yard sale for a couple bucks or something and I thought, um, you know, why not? Because I'll use it for something. So I'm going to use this as my fill inside. You can use whatever you want. If you have paper that you want to use that is from, you know, your recycling bin or paper towels, or you could even use rags, whatever you want for your pumpkin. Just It just needs to be filled with something and give it some, uh, just fluff it out to give it some dimension. So... I'm going to put a few handfuls in there and let's see, I'm going to close up the top and let's see, I think definitely going to want more in there. Definitely want more fill. Just push it down and as you push it down inside, then you want to gather it up at the top. Gather it all up. There we go. And then the, you have a square bottom on it. So what I do is I just take and push those in and kind of round off, round off anything that's sticking out. All right, so I've got that closed up. And now what I want to do is now is the time, depending on what you want to do for your, um, for your stem, if you want to take a piece of wood You'll want to stick it down inside there and then tie it off. So I'm just gonna use this because it'll just blend right in with everything. So we're gonna tie off. So you, if you had a stick you wanted to put in there, you'd put it in there and then you'll you'd stick it way in there and then you tie this off. I'm gonna make sure it's long enough so that this can um, tie and hold your stem or your stick in there. Um, or you could glue it either way. All right. There we go. So you just fluff it up. I'm going to cut these off. And I'm probably just take my corners. All right. And then I'm going to cut some of this off as well. Some of my stem off because I'm going to be making one for it. But look at that, how cute. It looks like a pumpkin already. So cute. All right, and, and you can also paint it. I have the white one that I painted. Uh, I just did a, uh, not a full all over white, um, but I just painted it up and down and I did it after I closed this up, just so you know. I painted it after I closed it up and that way you don't get them all in the cracks and crevices so it makes it look more primitive and rustic and stuff like that. So, all right, so there is our pumpkin. Now I'm going to show you how I make the cool little stem that goes on the top. Now I bought this big thing of twine rope 
from Amazon. I'll put a link down in the, the description down below because it is quite handy. Okay, so for this part, I'm gonna need my glue gun and I like to have my pumpkin here just for reference. Where I wanna start, I'm going to start a circle like so. I'm just gonna start a circle just like that. And I want it to make sure, big enough so that I make sure that I, it fits over the top of my stem of my pumpkin. Um, so I'm gonna make it a little bit big. And what I'm gonna do is start by gluing, gluing the circle together. All right, and then I just keep going around and around with my twine or my rope. And I'm gonna put it right on top to start with. As you can see, I'm going right along, right along the top, making it the same size. And I'm gonna go around probably, oh, five or six times doing that. Depends on the size of your pumpkin, how many times you wanna do that. Um, if your pumpkin's smaller, you want a smaller stem, so you do a smaller circle, and you just go on top of it for a little while. And then as you wanna work it in and make it into kind of a closed off cone. So then you go around the inside edge and just start closing it off. But I'll show you how I do that. Let me show you now that we're part way. So this little stem is gonna go right on top here. And once I, um, and I'll glue it down and this will keep just keep going up and up and up until I feel like it looks like a pumpkin stem. So we're gonna put this right on top. And that's gonna be our stem for our pumpkin. All right, and then you just keep fluffing it and making it do what you want to do. So there's the stem on my pumpkin. All right, now I have these cute little um, these cute little leaves that I got from Michaels. I bought a box. It was a grab bag from Michaels of stuff they were getting rid of, and uh, I got it for five dollars. And I'll put a link up here to show you if you guys are interested in seeing that, um, of the unboxing of that, it was pretty cool. So I got some really cool stuff and these leaves are one of them. They're kind of like ones that you scatter around and, and do different things with. They're called scatter decor, but they're really pretty. They look like burlap underneath with gold um, piping, gold veining, I guess, on your leaves. So I'm gonna take three of these and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna glue the middle so that it gives it, it kind of stands up on the edges a little bit. Okay, so then we just put a bead of glue underneath our stem. And then we're just gonna stick our leaf in there and let it dry just for a second. And then as you can see, that's how that little leaf is gonna sit in there. It looks so cute. Now we're gonna do the, this one the same way. We're gonna put some glue in the middle and see if I can get this one to work right. Okay, if I hold it like that. And you just kind of hold them together until that glue dries or at least sticks together a little bit. Okay, and there's that one and just stick it un up underneath. There we go. Now you could just stick with two. Two's fine. That looks pretty cute. Or you could go for a third, which is what I'm gonna do. Everything in threes, threes, threes. 
And then I'm going to put this one right in the middle. So I'm going to put a little glue in the middle and then stick that up underneath there. And there we go. Easy peasy. Okay, guys, the next thing we're going to do is a jute rope pumpkin. So I'm going to take some of this jute rope. We're going to use the same big roll that I got from Amazon. And I unraveled it a little bit. I'll probably need to unravel it some more. So I'm going to use a paper towel roll. The size of your pumpkin is going to matter what size your, let's see, I said that backwards. The size of whatever you use to wrap your rope around will determine the size of your pumpkin. So the bigger the roll, the bigger around your pumpkin is going to be, the bigger the loops will be. So I made a couple different sizes and I had my little hammer and I used this and made the smaller pumpkin that I have. Um, but this one is for the bigger ones that I made. Now, if you made your loops loose, they would make even bigger loops on your pumpkins. If you make it tight onto your tube, they're gonna make a little bit smaller loops on your pumpkins. So what we wanna do is take the end, the open end of your rope or your jute twine. You take your end here and you're going to let it stick out. That's probably three inches or so. And you're gonna put, or this is how I do it. I'm gonna put my thumb over the top of that so it doesn't move. And you're going to wrap your rope or twine around your tube and then you're going to push it up against your fingers like so. I'm going to do it again and you just keep doing it all the way down. Now here's the part where I talked about um, how tight you want it. Now you don't want to do it so tight that you're like squeezing the tube because it will it will be hard to slide off because you'll have to slide all this off at the end of it. So you don't want to do it so tight you're going to squeeze the tube and not be able to get that off. But you just keep going around and around. You just want to keep it loose enough so it will slide. And just keep going around and around. to cut this end about the same length, three or four inches, on your tube. So you have your tubes going to look like this. You're gonna have an open end on both. So now what you wanna do, I, put it, I find that it helps to put it up against me and then I slide everything down. See how easy that slides? If you did a little tighter, it wouldn't slide as well. Okay, and then I stick my thumb inside the tube and I just slide it down onto my fingers and I hold this end here. And we just go down and keep, keep holding until it comes off the end. Okay, and I lost a couple loops. There we go. All right, and I'm gonna take my other thumb and put it in there because I'm right-handed. And I'm going to take one of these ends and I'm going to put it through all these loops so that it comes out the other side. Okay, I'm just going to do that. And then we're going to take this other end and go in that side and go all the way out the other side. So you're kind of crisscrossing them inside there. Maybe, there we go. Okay, so now they've come out, this side's come out through this way and this side's come out through this way. And you, what you're going to do is tie all these loops together. So, like so. Okay, and you're just going to take that and you're going to tie it. You can tie it tight if you'd like. I try not to do too tight because I'm going to stick a cinnamon stick down the middle for a stem. And double knot it. And then what I'm going to do is cut these little ends off so that my knot's inside and you can't see it. So now you have a loop around all your loops so they're all hooked together. And basically it's just playing, 
playing with your loops. Getting them all just spread out so that they look like a pumpkin, per se. Now I take my pinky and I kind of open up the middle a little bit so that I can fit my, my cinnamon stick. Now I buy these cinnamon sticks at the Dollar Tree as well, a dollar for a package of cinnamon sticks. Those are pretty big. Okay, and I just keep these for crafting. And so I'll take my cinnamon stick and I'm going to push it down inside there. There is a cute little pumpkin. Okay friends, last but not least, the third pumpkin. I'm gonna work on that one. So what you're gonna need for this one is burlap. I've got this piece of burlap that I use. I painted on it. It's got stains all over it. I think it's perfect, it'll be fine. So um, I just grabbed a big piece and I'm going to cut, depending on the size of your pumpkin, of course, um, you know, the smaller the piece, the smaller the pumpkin's going to be. I'm gonna do a fairly good size pumpkin so you guys see what I'm doing. It's a little bit easier to show you. So um, I'm gonna cut off some of these. Okay, so let's see, we wanna, I don't know. I don't even know how big this is. And it's okay if it's got all these on the ends, they're gonna be tied up inside anyways. Okay, so I like that side. So we're gonna flatten it out. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm using my jute rope again, I'm going to cut a piece so that I can tie up my, tie up my pumpkin top so that as I'm holding it, I don't have to let it go and do it because it'll just fall apart. So again, we're gonna use something to fill it, whether you use fabric, like I said, fabric, rags, paper towels, recycled paper, whatever, whatever you want. This is just pillow, pillow fill to figure out what you want, but I think I want a fuller pumpkin on this one. It's gonna be so cute. All right, so that's quite a bit of fill in there, but we're gonna see. I think it'll, I think it'll look really nice. All right, so you bring all your edges up, all your edges in, and then I usually, these ones that are like this, I just tuck it in and fold it over. Tuck them in. And just pull up what I can. And then this one, same thing. Tuck it in. Pull it up. Now where did that piece go that I caught? Oh, there it is. All right, so we're just gonna tie the top as tight as we can, and I know that I've got pieces here. It's gonna be fine, we'll figure it out afterwards. Right now I just want to get this tied off. Now again, if you're going to use something that you wanna stick inside of that's really big, like a piece of branch to stick out the top, you're gonna to wanna to do that before you tie it off because it will be really hard to get it down in there once you tie it off, unless you use a smaller piece of wood. All right, so we're going to cut this top that's sticking out off and I'm just gonna kinda of stretch it open a little bit so I can find the hole and I'm still not worried about this part, I'll do that after. Okay, so what I have is this vine garland. Um, and if you unravel it, it stays together because it's all twined into it itself and you can wrap it around things. Uh, if you soak it in water, it's more pliable so you can wrap it around things. I thought this would be a really cool stem for my pumpkin. So what I did was I cut a piece off here and I took all those pieces apart and I made my other pumpkin stems. And so this is what came of it. So that's what it looked like when I cut it off. There was a few more, but I, like I said, I took them apart so that I could make my other stems. And I folded it over so it looks like that. And what I'm gonna do is cut a little bit off because I don't need it that long. 
and I'm going to stick it, if I can find the hole again. I may have gotten this too tight so I can't get these in. Nope, it's in, okay. So that is going to be, and it's kind of cool because it's got the little vine, dried up vines and they're all like squiggly, which reminds me of a pumpkin vine. Um, and so what you can do is spread out some of that. You can cut it, you can leave it, you can take it off, whatever you choose. So I'm going to leave it on there for now. But what I want to work on now is these ends that are open that you can see. So I'm going to tuck it in and flap it over. And I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to glue it down in spots so that it will stay, I hope. I'm going to take a piece of this, again, my jute rope, and find the front. Where do I want the front to be? Right there. And I'm going to cut a big chunk of this off and make a bow on the front. And it's not really to keep it closed, it's just for decor decoration. All right, and there's my cute little burlap pumpkin. So hope you like my three different kinds of pumpkins, guys. I think they're so cute. So I hope you're ready for the fall season because there's going to be all kinds of decor coming out and uh, you gotta get ready for it. It's coming fast. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.